damn it. I shouldn't have stand up. He can't see me though, right? He'll go away. Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I can do this. We're going to be sneaky. Which way are you facing? You watching me? I want to do this sneaky so bad. You should probably stand up, huh? Oh, oh, there was three of them. Where is he? I panicked and used my med thing. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> all right. All right, all right. Let's get a grip here, penguin. Oh, I saw this weapon out. Oh, man. That did not go as planned. Ah, oh, boy. Did I get everything here? Ah, oh, shoot. That was awful. That was absolutely awful. Here you are. I did that already. Make sure there's nothing else <clears throat> in here to pick up. I don't know how I missed this place. All right, well. Let's uh, cut our losses and move on. Technically, I didn't lose anything, but still. Let's see, there's Candid Howler, Candid Feral. There was a candid alpha. Oh, I'm just so. Can I check my weapons? 84, still good. 87, 22, 51. So, what is that? 18. So, not as good. 36. All right, let's see if we can do better with these guys down here. Where are they? Where'd they go? trying to read the message, something about weak spots, but I didn't really get it all. I 
Can't aim where it's crap. All right. Am I crouched? No, I'm not crouched. Okay. That was just terrible. Got me another shovel. This is so pretty. I just want to walk around and I just explore, you know? I don't know if I can go in the water or if that's bad for me. So, what do we have here? Nothing really? We got something there. Um, hmm. Can I? Can't go out in the water. Okay, so invisible wall. Good to know. It's probably not good for the environment if you've got all these things out here in the water. I'm sure they have oil and gas and other kind of freon and who knows what else in them. I heard something. I'm just exploring. I just want to just Oh boy. You know what? I think I think those are kind of fresh. That one's not, but those are, and those are, and that one, and that one, and those, and it's sad, creepy. Oh, there's people. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Man, I can't talk. Just way too many new graves. All right, well, ooh, that one's not even buried yet. Are you Silas? Um, well, I'll wait on that shovel. You're Silas. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so they, do they pay you to chat with strangers? Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Revival. Um, I'm Penguin. Uh, let's see, um, I can do that.
Mike and Link wouldn't pay me dues to do so. How do you pay your dues if you're dead? Just asking. Ah, uh, let's see. You're making people pay for their own graves. <clears throat> Why can't you collect these fees yourself? And yes, to mess something else. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. Ooh, yeah. You may want to think you're gone a little. Why is he special? Hey, look, I don't want to get into this. Just make sure he pays up. All right, where can I find him? All right, um, let's see. He was a lot of people. Ooh, so they're eating the dead people. Right? I'm confused. Um, you could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, Noah's Edge Water Craft costs near every soul to play. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wild. Sure you are. Every now and again, a dealer of plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Are immune or what? I mean, are you guys dealing with COVID just like the rest of us? Uh, we'll try this. was one other option I wanted to ask, but I lost it. All right, now can I steal the shovel? Sure, let's see what happens. What do you think you're doing? Um, hmm. Uh, you be it. It's intimidating. <laughs> it worked. I was either going to lie or I was going to intimidate. But yeah, so we got, what was it, a barber, can something cannery. We're going to go hustle some people for some money, it looks like. I mean, why... I mean, once you're dead, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I mean, what if you don't buy a gravesite? Then what do these people do? What is that noise? It's a creepy noise. All right, so we got our first settlement to explore. Or ain't gonna let me in. Um, go back to the marker, maybe. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna walk around here a bit. So. We would improve graves, I guess. Trying to keep the marauders out. This is kind of creepy. I've got a poster. Let's say, what does it say? Taste the freedom. Now with extra added artificial ingredients at no extra cost. Well, that sounds tasty. 
So I need a power. That's what I was going to ask him the, about the power thing. And that uh, conversation option went away. So kind of screwed that, didn't I? Let's just try one of these places. Well, it doesn't want me to do anything but go to the marker. I don't think, anyway. And if I was dressed as a marauder, why, evicted, why didn't they, like, shoot me on sight if the marauders are stealing all of their bodies? Then why didn't they shoot me? Vending machine discovered. All right. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. That's not a great slogan, to be honest. I take everything. I don't have... All right, so vending machine. Vending machines. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. I don't think my hack is there yet. I think my hack is pretty low, actually. Restricted items on a, on a vendor can only be purchased when you have enough when you have high enough reputation with the associated faction or a hack skill of 40 or higher. All right, do I know how many I have? I only have 75 bits. Um, can I sell? How much ammo do I have? It's a good thing the ammo doesn't weigh anything. It's not even going to tell me, so I don't know if I really need to. Helmet 10, that's better. But I don't have any money for any of those. Geographic scanner. Armor mod. Ooh, that's expensive. That's even more expensive. Mag pack bypass. I have one of those. I remember picking one up. Mag pick. So, okay. What? All right, buggers. You little whatever you are, rabid sprats. All right, so I have two of the blue things. So that would be uh, how do I break this down? Yes. Yes. And I'm going to break this down. All right, so I need... What do I have? Four and four. Do I have anything higher than four? Nope. But I can break things down for parts. Right. So I need... 
this bed in the dirt. Baby. Okay, so I need mag picks, more mag picks to um, get into that. Sorry, I'm learning. I'm I'm getting there. It's not yet. Oh, where was the mag picks? Okay. Uh, let's see, sweet. I'm not selling. I want to buy. All right. Um. Can I not buy? I am hitting A. Did I buy one? No, I didn't. Why wasn't I buying? <laughs> I'm going to sneeze here in a second. All right. So, it won't let me buy. Restricted stock. Duh. Penguin, read the screen. Sorry. I was just really confused. <clears throat> I should read the screen more. Open my eyes. Nope. I should have increased <clears throat> my hacking stuff. can't search anything. No one's here. So I guess I'm okay to rob stuff. Oh, I need that for the computer. Skin tough salve. What was that? Nico patch. All right, so I should be able to get in here. This, uh, Computer. Ooh, Spacer's Choice. <clears throat> when life gives you lemons, consider it a free trial with your friends at Spacer's Choice. This is probably a terminal access, Spacer's Choice. I saw the Tuna Marketing Division. Unlock second story balcony door. Uh, balcony unlock messages. Uh, from L. Gibbs Marketing Division to R. Thompson. Excellent news. Hey boss, just wanted to check up on the new Saltuna Life Light project. I've been brainstorming some new taglines for the product line and I think some of them will really catch our customers' attention. Dear Lawrence, I appreciate your hard work on behalf of our beloved brand of Saltuna. I've just received a response from corporate. They're not interested in your idea of a light version of the Saltuna brand because we'd rather not comp compete with ourselves. Um, personal files? I just retired. Okay, so Saltuna. Melts on your fork, not in your mouth. Don't like that one. Less fat with some Saltuna flavor. Don't like that one either. It's brine time. Nope. Now with the satisfying crunch of cartilage. Ho oh, ho. No. <laughs> you can't spell Saltuna without salt. Note also can't spell Saltuna with uh, ants. Potential to market towards families. Leading scientists say it's still food. <laughs> These are really bad. The Saltuna will thank you. 
Warning, may cause auditory hallucinations. <laughs> okay, ooh, criminal activities. Trespassing, luck picking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities are and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in these criminal activities without consequences. Well, there's no one around. Okay, I don't think. Okay, so the door is blue. It should open now. I'm going to go back to the thing and sell some stuff. Yep. Man, cigarettes and alcohol. Okay. So let's go back and sell some items in the vending machine that I don't think I'm going to need. It could be wrong, but sell. Let's see. What do sounds horribly? I need that. Uh, gourmet saltuna fillets. Um... I can't, I can't sell though, can I? Because I'm not high enough. That sucks. Evicted. And that's red, so it's locked. Alright, let's just uh, transition to Edgewater. All right. I go left. Don't know why. That's just the direction I go. It's red. There's a Saltuna factory. I don't want to really go there. Spacer's choice. You know what? Let's let's go in there. Let's see. This is a uh, choice property. Notice the Edgewater Saltuna, Saltuna County facility strictly adheres to Spacer's Choice standards of health and safety. Notice, schedule your sick leave with your Spacer's Choice foreman and or supervisor and be considerate towards other members of the Spacer's Choice family. Allow two to four weeks to process and approve your scheduled sick leave. Okay. Uh, lost hours must be compensated to the company. See Reed if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave. We'll try to arrange wage deduction instead. Remember, work invigorates the spirit. Sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. If you find yourself falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with our local vicar. So you have to schedule your sick time several days in advance, huh? Or weeks in advance, actually. That just doesn't seem like... I think I'm going to get sick on the 7th of November, so let me put my time off in October. And... Hello? Well, you're not very friendly. I just said hello. And you're like, Sorry, I got things to do. Blah, 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 blah. How about you? You talk to me? You too, huh? What about you? Yeah, you. Okay. Come on. I'm doing it. I don't care. I'll steal stuff. What do you do? Come at me? I'll kill every one of you in here. Kick me. 
okay. You know what? I'm still gonna kick me sign. <laughs> oh man, I think that's the dumbest thing so far in the game, and I love it. None of the conveyor belts are going, so they're not really doing anything. I don't know why I'm taking these things, but. Yep. I am going to get you all fired because things are going to go missing off of the assembly line. Um. <laughs> yeah, bitch, walk away. <laughs> I'm probably getting a really bad reputation around here. There's no vending machine here. I still... I can't sell anything. But they're not gonna stop me because I'm gonna intimidate them. I'm gonna put them in their place. You busy? Yep. Wow. So I went full circle around and didn't go upstairs. It's not a whole lot of movement in this factory floor, I'll say that. Who are you? He's a new worker? Nope. Whatever. Make it quick, underfoot. I'm busy. Um Oh, that's right. She was here. So, uh, if you're not familiar with Ward Law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent grave site fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Stanza, Eugene was a good worker. Let's find out some more. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his death. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't miss fire. Safety, safe handgun aren't the most reliable. Um, let's show some sympathy. Well, then why are you paying his things, then? You said the closest relative pays his grave sites, and you're doing it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see. So oh. So you're not family. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Greg was yeah. pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket for safety's choice. Yeah. Hey, how do you know Eugene was an asset to us all? All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fee, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. All right, you guys got a messed up system here. Sure. There's a guard outside. Is he going to steam me still things? Guide to mechanical engineering. Uh, terminal access. Company notifications. Patient shows private. From the office of 
Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. Symptoms of infection have now reached a critical mass. Wow, this is topical. I have instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plague is the reality of life on the frontier, and as spacers, we are expected to face up to reality. And the real reality is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of you. Medical treatment is a privilege, not a right. We, have st we must strive every day to demonstrate our worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of incipient in, in sepient plague, the best thing you can do for yourself and your family is to don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies the spirit. Physical illness uh, recapitulates spiritual weakness. You know what? If you're sick, that is the worst thing you can do. I still need one more of those things. You know, you... In this day and age, you know that if you're sick, stay home. Please. And wear a mask. Let's see. I don't see anything else I can take. So I'm glad I came back in here and went upstairs. This is like the... Worst um, factory ever. I'm going to get overloaded here in a second. I just know it. No, I need to. All right. Phyllis Granger messages. Welcome, Phyllis Granger. Uh, from R. Thompson to Granger. Phyllis. Owing to your hard work and positive attitude, I have sanctioned, sanctioned your access to medical treatment in the event of contagion. As you know, the company has not provided us with enough medicine to treat every worker. I wish I could treat every member of the Spacer's Choice family who fell ill to this plague, but I cannot. Medical privileges are strictly merit-based. Please do not, under any circumstance, distribute your ration of medications to any of the workers who are all in this together. Yeah, I don't like this stuff. Ooh, I did hack it. I didn't think my hacking skills were very good. Tenderfoot. Personal files. Last entry. Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me not to report his death in our quarterlies. Sounds fair to me. Was asked to prepare a statement or something for the other workers. Been thinking about it. Don't know what to tell them. Don't end up like Theodore. Do your work. Show up. Wear a smile and you'll get your medical privileges. It's a start. That's just terrible. I would not want to live in this place at all. Ooh. Come on. I guess I get it closer. I'm sure the hide's good for something. I pick up that one? No, I didn't. Okay. These are like... Why do I get the feeling that these go in there and that's what makes that... Hello! I'm doing nothing. Yep. <laughs> that what makes us sell tuna. Oof, that was close. Alright, so... I got my money. Let's see what's over this way. Ooh, I got that. Does this just go up above? Yep. There we go. Alright, so... Climb. I figure out how to go down a ladder. All right, so I guess we're done here, and we'll move on. <laughs>